Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Want to see how I got this fun, bright, rainbow lip look right here? Then just keep watching. Since the emphasis of this look is obviously the lips, you want to make sure they are prepped and ready to go. So I dampened my lips with a wet cloth and applied exfoliator to my lips. I like to take my finger and really scrub off the dead skin cells, focusing on the areas that are the driest on my lips. After that, I just remove any leftover product with my cloth, and now my lips are baby bottom soft. Then I add a bit of chapstick to hydrate my lips, and now they are prepped and ready to go. Now I've already done my brows and color corrected my face off camera, so now I'm evening out my skin tone with some foundation, aka my holy grail Revlon Color Stay. Comment down below and let me know what foundation you are loving at the moment. With the LA Girl Concealer, I'm highlighting my face and to give me that glow that you guys know I always have to have, I'm adding my Maybelline Lumi Highlighting Concealer. And I dampened my sponge with some Max Fix Plus and now I'm just blending everything out. I like to take my finger and blend out the bridge of my nose just because I think it looks more precise when I do this. Now while I bake like a cake, I'm applying some powder to the rest of my face to set my foundation. For the eyes, I didn't want to do too much because my lips are already really bold, so I'm just drawing a thin line along my lash line. This mascara is Rimmel London's Wonder Lash Volume Mascara. This mascara is supposed to gradually make your natural lashes darker over time. I love this stuff. Now y'all, I tried to apply these falsies on camera, but it just wasn't happening. So I applied them off camera and I was taking some mascara to blend the falsies with my real lashes. Now I don't want my face to be overdone for this look, but I do want my skin to look sun-kissed. So I'm taking a bronzer and lightly applying that to the areas that I would normally contour. Okay, you guys, the funny thing is, this is actually an eyeshadow brush that I got in one of the Naked palettes, but I just love using this to contour my nose. <laughs> hey, whatever works, right? So here I'm just lightly sweeping blush over my cheeks. A tip for applying blush is that you want your starting point to be about where the arch of your brow starts, not directly on the apples of the cheeks. This is going to make it look most natural and then you just sweep it up towards your hairline. So now I'm highlighting with the Pure Glow Together Bronzer. This was actually my first time using this product, but you guys, look at this product. I love it. Now on to the fun part, the lips. I'm taking my NYX Jumble Pencil in the color Milk and applying that to my lips. This is really going to help those colors pop and you want to apply this until the color is opaque. And I like dabbing my fingers on my lips just to blend it in and smooth everything out. So now I'm starting with my red pigment and I'm just going to keep applying this until that color is opaque and you can't see any white on my lips. I like to open my lips slightly as well, just so I can get on the inside of my lips as well. And now I'm taking my purple shade and I'm trying to make that as even with the red color as I can. Now to transition from that red shade, I'm taking this pink fuchsia shade, once again just dabbing on that pigment until it is opaque. So to transition from the purple shade, I am taking a dark blue. 
now orange and at this you know point I think you guys get how this works just dabbing it on until the color is opaque a baby blue yellow and green to finish off my rainbow So you guys here I am taking some lip gloss and I am lightly and I mean lightly applying this to my lips because I don't want to blend in the colors too much but I do want to add some shine to my lips. And there you have it. If you guys liked this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!